there are a few ways that gearboxes leak. One is it's overfilled, where they fill it past the seals. Then it'll leak out and seek its own level. Another way is slinging of the oil, and it hits the sides of the gearbox and goes down and out the seals if the seals are ruptured. And this is a way that our oil will be advantageous. Now, regular gearboxes, this would look like your regular gearbox. Okay. Right now, as you can see, if I will turn it, the gear oil is slinging to the sides and our gear oil is not slinging to the sides. I can't really show that to you, but it's right there on the, it's right up to there and theirs is all the way up to the top of the gearbox. Now, you have just the normal everyday speed of a gearbox. Now, let's just say a catastrophic failure happens and you lose all your oil. Okay. Excuse me, let me get this side. No. I'm on the wrong side. I'll, I'll try this side. There you go. Alright, now, if you, whenever you have a catastrophic failure, of, of course your, gear oil, your gears are going to start going quicker because there's nothing to, nothing to hold them down. And they'll keep on revving like that for a while. But this gives you enough time to know you have a catastrophic failure and shut the thing down so you can fix it. This, on the other hand, within a few minutes, that gearbox will be basically burn up. You'll burn up the gearing. Now... Slow it down to stop. You can still see gear oil on our gearbox side, and there is hardly no any on that side. You heat it up and it'll start to melt and burn. And it'll start up. Theirs will catch on fire. Once it starts, you can't stop it. The flash point of greases needs to be high so it doesn't catch fire, you know, melt away, catch fire. This one just burn up into a bunch of ash and stuff. So, you know, a bearing failure would have that. But with our grease, you're, you are safe to go you know, up and re-grease if you have to. Um, but uh, there are, you know, properties to our grease that allows it to withstand heat. You can tell ours is still in the business it's called a rat trap because how it's made is you take the springs out of a rat trap and put them on the thing and that's why we call it a rat trap. But now the impacting test shows I get that thing on. There you go. The impacting shows the um, 
stability. You gotta ease them up right up in there. And the impactability of the product. Okay, first of all, whenever you put grease in a bearing, okay, and let's just say it's an automobile bearing, all right, you pack it and you hit, uh, and you're driving along and you hit a big rut in the road, okay, that's where your impact is going to be. And whenever, and whenever you hit that thing, that shock load is going to go to the bearing and the grease is supposed to protect the bearing. Well, with the grease you got here, it will not protect the bearing. In our grease, you still have grease in the bearing to protect it from water and dirt, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That is called our impact test. Now. One of the one other problem that pe companies have with gear oil is condensation and water contamination. This is this oil right here and water. Oh, sorry, and water. Okay. Now I will show you. Usually, if you do this to gear oil and water, it will come looking like. You know that that milky caramel color. Okay, and it'll all be mixed with water and stuff. But our our gear oil will not mix with water. The gearing will go through the gear oil and water. But whenever you see this, our gear oil will protect the gearing throughout the water, and it will not. It will not break the tension of, of the gear oil. I can go around and around, mix it around, and it won't. You'll still have all your... And the gear oil will separate almost immediately.